it's almost essential that as a motorcyclist we have a black leather motorcycle jacket in our wardrobe at some point and therefore every single brand that makes clothing for bikers out there does at least one within their range and therefore there are literally hundreds to choose between for riders. Here at Urban Rider we try and whittle down to the ones that are really worthy of your time and attention and this is exactly what we have here. The Revit Roma 2 is new for spring summer 2021 and this is Revit's take on that item, the quintessential black leather motorcycle jacket and they have done a fantastic job. This is something that comes in at $349.99 and for a full grain leather that puts it as one of the cheapest in our range anyway but add in the fact this is double AC approved as well which is normally reserved for far bulkier, more technical, dedicated garments. This is not something we see as much of with the urban spin on motorcycle clothing. This is really very impressive. And this is quite a versatile jacket as well, owing to the removable internal thermal liner, which means it can extend its use from just a spring summer garment well into autumn, and I'd say into winter as well. It doesn't have any waterproofing element in and of itself, so you'd need a rain jacket for that purpose. But for all other needs, as with most black leather motorcycle jackets, this is something that's gonna serve, I think, virtually everybody out there watching this channel because it's pretty neutral in its style. It's gonna work on a wide range of bikes and it's just extremely well put together. It's very, very comfortable. All the stitching is triple needle stitch, so all these joins are really secure and very heavy duty. But the overall feel of this jacket, although it's 1.2 mil thick, and that's how it's passed the AAC approval certification standard, it feels far lighter. It feels like a one mil thick at most, and it really does have a very soft finish and very, very comfortable straight off the peg, which is something we don't always find with full leather jackets. Sometimes they're quite stiff to begin with, and you need to give them a bit of time to sort of wear into your body, take shape, kind of break in if you like. That isn't the case here. This is so comfortable immediately it's really beautifully treated and the grain that you can see on the finish to the leather is very high quality indeed so really on all fronts Revit have done a fantastic job here the fit is also very very good as well so it's true to the size guide first of all so this sample is a Revit 50 which is an EU sizing converted into UK it means it's roughly a 40 inch chest I have just over a 40 inch chest and this fits me really nicely even with my jumper on underneath this is a great fit as well Take out the internal liner and of course you're going to give yourself a bit of extra space too. With the liner in you really do want it snug because it needs to insulate and it needs to trap that heat as well. The price also includes Revit's award winning in-house level 1C approved removable armour in the elbows and shoulders which is their C-Smart armour. This stuff is absolutely fantastic for urban riders who want ergonomic unnoticeable armour but that still does the job. This is really as good as it gets. It's super thin and very very hard to notice that it's there. You can take it out if you want but in all honesty you don't really find that you'll need to. You also have a back pocket for back protection if you want to upgrade through the product page over on urbanrider.co.uk for the Seasoft Level 2 back armour if you want a full set of it. And you also have points around the inside and the lower section of the jacket so you can join this to your trousers. You've got two options. You've got the belt loop connection points which go through the loops on your trousers to create a one piece effect or you've got the zipper as well. The zipper, you can take off the bottom part of that zipper, attach it by sewing it into trousers or if you're using Revit's compatible garments, they simply zip together anyway. So there's different options there, so you can create a nice secure join between trouser and jacket. The actual fit and the cut of the jacket, Revit call their regular city fit, but really that's to differentiate it just from their sports stuff. So the sportier jackets in their range, they tend to be very constrictive. You're designed to be in an arse up, head down position, and they're designed really for sports bikes, whereas the rest of their stuff has a more relaxed fit. It's perfectly wearable off the bike. And that's what we have here, but it still blends in a really nice tailoring that still looks fitted and fashionable, and I really, really like. The sleeves are slightly curved already for an ergonomic fit as well, so you don't feel any kind of constriction getting into position on the bike. There's a nice articulation to the shoulders despite not having any actual articulation points on the back. It's just a comfortable jacket straight out of the box. You've got slight padding around the top of the collar, which is nice. You do have a couple of different options on the cuffs and collars for tailoring it in with the different snapper settings. There's no real drop to the back. It is a fairly sort of flat, consistent depth to the bottom of the jacket as well. Um, and on the inside, as we go down, you're gonna see that underneath this centralized zipper, you've got this little piece of this material, which is just basically a windstopper fabric. So it stops too much air getting through this central zipper. And on the inside, you will note that you've got that removable lining I mentioned. It's very easy to take out. There's simply one zip that operates around the perimeter. Remove that and you've just got this sports lining with this kind of netting fabric. That keeps it comfortable, helps move away moisture. Storage pockets wise, you've got a horizontal pocket there on the inner side of the jacket and you've got this Napoleon vertically accessed zipped YKK zip pocket too. So a couple of different options. On the front, as you probably spotted before I delved inside, you do have this one horizontal one on this area and then there's slanted pockets either side on the waist too. 
The branding is about as understated as I've ever seen Revit do anything. They're one of those brands that do like to put their logo everywhere they possibly can, but here they have really, really just resisted that urge. And the only signs of it are with this black sewn on panel just on the left shoulder, which is very, very neat and blends in nicely. And then just also on this little hardware point on the zipper, which tones in neatly. Everything's black, so there's nothing contrasting or standing out. The lines are really clean. As I say, I think this looks good on anything classic and anything modern. It's just got that universal appeal that's gonna, I think, hit the spot with most of you out there. Let us know what you think about the Roma 2. Leave us your questions, anything I may have omitted to mention in this review, and we'll get back to you shortly. And stay tuned for more video reviews of the new Revit Spring Summer lineup, as well as more reviews, of course, of the world's finest riding gear. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.